Hello again guys, how is it going? This is Faker coming at you with another Legends of Rune Terror video. Today I have a cool game to showcase for you guys. We are piloting once again Monotargon. Absolutely loving this deck. You guys are going to shortly see why this deck's getting uh, lots and lots of wins. Uh, versing our opponents Tom Kench and Soraka. Absolutely making them bend the knee. Having a pretty clear strategy going into the game and executing it perfectly. Uh, making the Tom Kench Soraka deck rage quit very quickly. The subject for today is obliterating. If you enjoy the video and the gameplay I share with you today, do not forget to leave a like, subscribe, and if interested, drop a comment and say hello. Thank you. So this game we're gonna look we're gonna look for every landmark removal we can. And that's that's the aim of the game. If we find enough landmark removals, we should find enough win conditions. We found one. Yes. Yes. Come on. Now we have to try and hold this back for as long as we can. Basically, I think we can pass here. I'm not losing to this guy again. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh. Come on. I'm still good to scrap. Oh, we can even stun him. We can stun the, the puss, the octopus. I'm feeling super confident this game, guys. I'm feeling super confident. We've got everything lining up perfectly for us. Like everything's falling in its place. Like a game of chess. You can stun the puss. That's correct. Alright, he's gonna get some healing here. I guess that was inevitable. And he chooses not to attack. Interesting. Interesting. I think this is a good time to pass. We just want to make we want to make sure he doesn't play. We just want to make sure he doesn't play Tom Kench without a way to answer it. Or more answers, more fallen comets. We're just gonna stack our hand with fallen comets, guys. That's gonna be the strategy. I guess we can play Lanari here. Obliterate an enemy unit or landmark. I guess he gets one good trade here. I guess we're chilling here. Sisters. This might be an okay time to just try and clear his threats. We can't actually clear the Soraka here, really. Right, let's play Mountain Scribe, maybe. Let's find some more Obliterate cards. Card draw or a win condition. I'll take a win condition here, maybe. I think we have enough cards in hand to play. Maybe it's fine to do this now. He now realizes what we're up to, guys. He doesn't have a second Star Spring either. Fantastic.
Archer! I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Finn. I'm gonna save up my points now. I'm gonna make a mega move. I look forward to it. I have 136k points. A lot of points. This never works, right? Like, even if I hush that, it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, the hush won't work here. Even though he has, like, all the buffs here, if I hush this, the silence will still keep it at 7 HP, I'm pretty sure. So I'm not going to fall into that trap again. This guy might straight up deck out. We'll see. Stand back. Bask in her radiant We're gonna make him deck out. That could be our strategy. We have enough falling comets to deal with every single start. Star Spring. Like, Star Spring is not going to be an acceptable win condition for him. Fate has delivered me to you once again. Our destinies are entwined. No more of your crap suit lock, please! Is that so? Five million IQ move. Oh no, the hush into the pale. I think I would rather not lose my immortal fire, so I am going to hush the box to puss. I think losing the immortal fire might be kind of really sad, so let's not allow it to happen. Let's actually use one of our Fallen Comets now and clear the Soraka. He'll replay another one, that's fine. An extra copy of Leona would be really nice here. Yeah, Diana gives me a Pale Cascade, that's pretty cool. Is it just Supernova? It's consistently good. Living Legends is like the greedier line. 
Yeah, Supernova is insane, right? It's just gonna help us to con continuously have ways of dealing with these threats. I can even I can even force him to use some resources here inefficiently. Of course, he could have like another copy of Hush into like pe double Pale Cascade. I think if anything, the only thing he can do here is Astral Protection to protect his Soraka. I haven't seen him play one yet. Uh, some some blessed figure does the job as well. Welcome back, dude. So there's the Kench. And we're just gonna open Supernova next turn, I think. Master the power of the stars. I think the Supernova opener just makes a lot of sense. And it's starting to make more sense now. We're just literally out grinding him. See, like the first time we faced him, we were not able to find our our fallen comets and stuff. This game, however, is not the same. I think we want to immediately do supernova. Dab, dab. We're dabbing out here, dude. I got you. Yeah, we want to open Supernova because of if we attack, we can't really respond to the play. So this is fine. I wonder if I can possibly fit um, one in a million soul into this deck somehow. Seems like a bit of a stretch. This is a really good game. Let's just make him concede on the spot right here. What do you reckon? <laughs> uh, not today, buddy. On the spot, literally fucking called it. <laughs> uh. 